Howdy folks, how are we doing? It is New Year's Eve, so I shall wish you all a Happy New Year, prosperous uh, 2022, we can hope, can't we? Now, I'm just starting, as you can see, <coughs> to just dismantle this front linkage, because that is the first job really. We've got some welding to do on it. Uh, it wants spraying, obviously. So, uh, yeah, get it into some smaller pieces so I can uh, manhandle it a bit easier. I <laughs> mean, look at that pin. That's quality, isn't it? <coughs> right, that's the rams out. Oh, I've got another. You see there? Another problem we've got to fix. Them holes are elongated as well as the pins have. So we'll need to fix that and all. <coughs> right, take these main Not the pins out. That's trouble. No, nothing was, you know. No, no grease nipples in it or anything like that, so it can be greased. Right. We are all apart now. Up the top link, which we'll, we'll take that off and all. Right, should be a bit more manageable now, still going to be pretty heavy, but <laughs> not quite as heavy as it was. Yeah, that's still pretty heavy. Whew. Right, so the ball ends at the back there, all right, I ain't got to touch them. That's what I've got to sort out though, as you can see. Fag paper's width of metal at the top holding on, so cut them off completely. And as luck would have it, I've got these. It's a steel here, which would do the job just nightly. Already got the right size hole in them. Um, this also needs cutting down. I've got two of these. These are old, um, I mean, old, old school uh, sort of front loader brackets. Uh, this was on the, what was it? I think it was the, the bow spike that was on the um, 6810. So that's how old that is. But cut that down, that'll do that job. A treat. Oh yeah. Oh, that's excellent. I don't left myself a lot of grind in there. No, that's superb. We can get them, get this all grinded off flush now, around here, both bits, uh, ready to weld on the new lug slot. Right, that's all grind off nice and flush. I've just grooved out that 
and that because they hadn't welded that through. They would obviously welded the um, the lug on top and just weld up either side. So I should weld that first and that, and then uh, yeah, then weld the lug back on top. So uh, yeah, we're getting there. Got to cut the got to cut the new ones out to size now. I mean, look at that. It's horrific, isn't it? it? Really is. But um, yeah, we'll cut that out and give it a bit of a. Get it upside down. No, we must cut top and bottom in also. But uh, yeah, we'll get that sorted out there somewhere, and uh, let's get that cut out. That's that cut out and all ground down, smoothed all the edges off, so it looks pucker. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to drill a hole and tap it for a grease nipple, because uh, I don't want that to happen again. Centre pumps the hole. Obviously, pillar drills are best for this because. Um, <clears throat> we've got a quite a bit of quite a bit of steel to go through which uh, where are we so we've got yeah we've got that much steel to drill through so we need it nice and steady so we use a little drill clamp make sure that's nice and tight like so <coughs> oh drill's actually at the perfect height There we go, right now we've got to just drill all the way down. The seven and a half mil bit in there, and then what we'll do, I'll tap the top of it so that obviously I can screw a grease, grease nipple in there. Right? <coughs> then of course, you know, I can keep the keep the pins greased and um, it won't go like what the others have done, you know, and wear out the top and the pins themselves. Nearly there. Lovely, lovely jubbly. There we go. Right, I'll just tap this now. So I ain't got to tap all of it because the, there's only that much thread on the grease nipple, so I ain't got to go too far. One grease nipple installed. Just going to clean the inside of the hole now. A wire brush. Right, that's M2 done. We've just got to sort out the end of the uh, the rams now. Right, and I've cut four of these out. These are for the. Uh, ends of the ram because of course like I showed a minute ago they're worn as well so be two of these welded on per ram um, also got to drill some holes in them now 
I've got a 27 mil hole to drill, which is a bit bigger than a standard drill bit. So I'm going to use the mag drill. Now, but to do that, I need to hold this bit of metal, you know, perfectly still because the mag drill will just rag it around. So what I'm going to do, I've got this nice bit of uh, 12 mil steel. I've got the little uh, clamp off the pillar drill. And I'm going to just drill a couple of holes, tap a couple of holes for some 17 mil bolts. And I can then bolt that down there. I'll then be able to hold me bit of metal in the correct place. Mag drill will sit there. And we'll be able to drill a nice big 27 mil hole easily. Right, so we've got an M10 bolt, which is essentially a 17 mil uh, head. Now to drill a hole to tap it, I need to dr uh, drill an eight and a half mil hole. So I've got the eight and a half mil bit in. I'm just gonna do it freehand. It shouldn't be too bad to, to drill, rather than try and get this bit of steel onto the uh, pillar drill. Just use the tap now to cut a thread into these holes. Got the uh, the M10 with the 1.5 degree pitch of thread on it, which is basically for a standard bolt, you know, just a standard normal coarse threaded bolt. Actually, I was taught this in school. I'm pretty sure I remember being taught how to cut a thread in school. <clears throat> you do like three quarters of a turn of a cut and then you go back quarter turn to release the material you've cut. So I'll just keep winding and winding, but we are through. Look at that, beautiful. Let's check the right. Smashing. Now what I'll do, I'll just keep this bit of steel laying around, that'll just be handy if I um, need to drill big holes in you know small bits of metal like obviously the trouble with that you cannot you cannot sit the mag, mag drill on that bit of steel and drill, drill it um, you know you need to have a big enough bit of metal a big enough piece um, to sit the drill on and drill it um, so if I kick this about I could just use the little the little uh, clamp there and um, you know I can you know that easily drill big holes in little bits of metal. Very useful. Very useful. So them holes are both now tapped. And I've got some uh, some just slightly longer bolts than I need. Uh, flat washer, spring washer, and an, a locking nut. Because um, you know, I don't want these bolts to go all the way through. I want this bit of plate to sit flat on whatever it's sat on. So I shall wind the wind the bolt through so it's flush with the bottom, like so. I'll just wind the locking nut down. So, so 
Same for this side. I know everyone complains about these gloves, but I, to be fair, I, I'm absolutely fine with them. Same with that one, not too far. Oh, I'm cooking with gas now. Um, next job, drill four holes with the mag drill. That's the um, first one centre punched. Now it's really important with uh, mag drill bits or as they're, you know, as they're known, annular cutters to have a, um, a centre punch hole. Otherwise, because that's, that's a cutter. That's what you put in a mag drill. You see there's no, you know, it can't hold itself to a bit of metal. So you have the pin that goes through the middle. See now, that'll hold when you start drilling in the hole otherwise otherwise it just <laughs> it just does that right so <clears throat> this is this is a mag drill <laughs> what a mag drill is as the name suggests it's a uh, it's a drill this part here that's the motor um with a magnet uh, a large electromagnet on the bottom so obviously you know it's very handy for drilling holes in sheds, um, anywhere, you know, big stuff that you can't get in a pedal drill. You know, this is perfect. Just makes drilling big holes, or to be honest, any size holes, especially in thick steel, so easy. Right, so I put the cutter in. These cutters have two flat faces, which are held by two grub screws. Tighten the grub screws up. And we are there, ready to go. <clears throat> right, now quite simple these are. This is a, by the way, this is, if you haven't already realized, this is a Panther by Rotor Brooch. Now, Rotor Brooch, um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you know, one of the best uh, mag drill manufacturers you can get. So, this is, you know, it's not a particularly expensive model. What did this cost me? I forget now, I've had it a couple of years. A um, few hundred quid. But, you know, it certainly pays for itself, just on jobs like this, you know. So the controls at the back here are really simple, really. At the minute, nothing's on. We turn the main power on, like so. Now the magnets, the magnets working. As you can see, the whole lot shaking. And you've got a, a start for the drill and a stop. And that's all you've got. And then you've got the wind of the up down here. Also, you have got... A little quick connector there you can put a, a coolant bottle on it and um obviously you know run coolant to cool the bits but on the size metal we're drilling that won't be a problem so right we'll get our our bit in the voice oh, it's gonna be tricky to show you all this but i think we're, we've got it all in angle so what you do <coughs> place your drill over the bit lower your you bit down until, like now, the bit is now centered in the in the hole we punched. Now we can put the magnet back on. We are ready to drill. Got a 27 mil hole in there, and yeah, we're ready to go. The other thing to remember about mag drills is you've got to have a good base for the magnet. It's no use having them on a bit of two mil um, sheet steel. They just wouldn't have it. Just wouldn't have enough magnetic attraction to hold the drill steady. With a bit of 10 mil plate like we've got at the minute, I've got just under 700 kilograms worth of magnetic force. So basically, what that means, if say we were upside down, I could hook 700 kilograms to this, or just under actually, um, and it should be able to hold it to it. <laughs> now that is impressive. When you get to 25 mil. Uh, which is quite a bit thicker, uh, over twice as thick as this. Um, you get to the you know the magnet's maximum attraction, which is 900 kilograms, um, which you know is a lot. But 600 best, about 680 we've got at the minute, which is going to be be absolutely fine for what we're going to do. So let's fire her up. <laughs> There is a 
speed controller here as well on the side. I tend to run it as slow as possible. And now we'll just slow it down. There we go. Right, hold on a minute. Let's take the drill off a minute. Put my screwdriver, there it is. Right, there we go. One 27 mil hole, beautifully um, cut out, and how long did that take? A minute, about that. That's what I love about mag drills, they make, you know, drilling big holes just so easy. Right, three more to go.